Hi, it's Samantha. I would like to read a really sweet story to you today. It's called Dinosaur on Shabbat. And the person who wrote the story, the author, her name is Diane Ratchenweiger, and the person who drew all the beautiful pictures, his name is Jason Wolf. Dinosaur on Shabbat. Dinosaur on Shabbat. The candles, and they wrote the challah and the kiddush cup. There's a dinosaur knocking at my door. Shalom, he says to me. The sun is low, Shabbat is near. He cries impatiently, the dinosaur. He helps to set the table and drags in all the chairs, two chairs, three chairs, four chairs. He's had a bath, his shirt is clean. He's ready for the prayers. He helps to light the candles and I tell him not to peek. When he covers his eyes, he pretends to play hide and seek. The kiddush cup soon overflows when Dino pours the wine. Our beautiful white tablecloth has a new design. Uh-oh. He reaches for the holla. I tell him, be polite. You need to say the blessings before you take a bite. The holla. Next day, he co comes to the synagogue to hear the Torah read, but he falls asleep across my lap. He thinks I'm his bed. Oh no, he was so tired. So when I want to take a nap late that afternoon, he's ready for a Shabbat walk. I say, not yet, but soon. He's napping. And as we make Havdalah, he creates a mighty sneeze. When he opens up the spice box, the nutmeg makes him sneeze. He dips the candle in the wine. He loves to hear it sizzle. He sings Shavua Tov of Ki. It makes me want to giggle. Havdalah candle. And when Shabbat is over, Dido leaves without a fuss. But I know next Friday he'll he'll be back to share Shabbat with us. Give each other a hug. That's the story of Dinosaur on Shabbat. And remember, just like the book, the first prayer we do is the what? The candles, which are called Nerot in Hebrew. That's our first prayer. And our second prayer is the Kiddush. And inside we pour the Yayin, the wine in Hebrew. And what's the last prayer? The last prayer is over the Hala. We sing the Kiddush. And do we know why the Hala is covered? It's covered because we don't want the Hala to know she's the last prayer. So that is the things you need on your Shabbat table. So I wish you a super day. Shabbat Shalom, and I'll see you soon. Bye.